a 50 year old lady with a breast lump that is hard that is immobile and uh, that may be painless is it always breast cancer the answer is no hi friends i am dr jay r anam i am a breast cancer surgeon based out of mumbai and today i am going to talk about an interesting topic an interesting differential diagnosis of breast cancer lump and that is granulomatous mastitis so what is this granulomatous mastitis granulomatous mastitis is defined as a chronic and inflammatory disease of the breast which may mimic breast cancer so let's break it down chronic inflammatory chronic chronic means something that has been present over a long period of time or something that just keeps recurring so that is chronic for you and inflammatory uh, inflammatory is a condition where any it can take place in any tissue of the body any part of the body that part of the body becomes red that part of the body may become hot that part of the body may become swollen and may become painful so granulomatous mastitis is a condition that can mimic breast cancer in many ways uh, it can be caused due to two major causes it can be either idiopathic or non-idiopathic by idiopathic we mean we don't know the exact cause whether it is autoimmune or some other mechanism we still don't know what is the cause while non-idiopathic means it is caused due to some known cause so there are certain infections like the tuberculosis or sarcoidosis which may lead to granulomatous mastitis of the breast moving further just like breast cancer granulomatous mastitis also presents like a breast lump which is hard with you know redness over the skin there can be some puckering there can be some scarring over the skin uh, but granulomatous mastitis can also present with pus discharge so sometimes it may be misdiagnosed as a breast abscess and and the doctor may end up doing repeated incision drainage thinking that he is draining a breast abscess the problem is not solved by incision and drainage it just recurs so we need to identify the cause this can be done by doing a good usg guided core biopsy uh, on the core biopsy we can get a diagnosis of granulomatous mastitis the core biopsy specimen can also be sent for culture so that we know that is it caused due to tuberculosis or sarcoidosis or is it caused due to some other infection so when we know when we have a cause we have the infection we can treat it with suitable antibiotics and in case we don't have any cause we feel it is idiopathic granulomatous mastitis then we need to start the patient on steroids only these steroids help us to resolve this granulomatous mastitis but frankly speaking granulomatous mastitis is not an easy condition to treat it recurs occasionally and treatment has to vary there are certain other drugs which are used and if nothing helps then surgery is the last option for granulomatous mastitis uh, so this was in short about granulomatous mastitis uh, let me tell you frankly it's not an easy condition to treat the patient and the doctor both need to have lots of patience and uh, uh, if you have any further doubts or queries you can please write down in the comment section me or my team will get back to you thank you